my heart is beating like a goddamn drum against my chest. And all I want to do is like throw something, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to sit here and pretend it's not real. I haven't found anything new because I can't give out some fucking second of the Darkness imprisoning me. All that I pee. Absolute horror. Now we're gonna. F oh, are we smoking pot about it? Sure. Cheers. Take your joy. Did you take your joy today? Never forget to take your joy, and I guarantee you'll be able to. Have you been to many small towns? Oh, dozens. How, uh, how'd you find them? Well, each town's unique. There's some consistent elements. But really, they ain't so different from the cities, you know? Small towns have their eccentrics, their assholes, that kind of people. And the lovely, the lonely ones, I think they all feel a lot larger than life, because the places they live are so small. Do you prefer cities, or... I wouldn't say I have a strong preference between the two. It's easier to disappear in a city. If you don't want to be bothered, you won't be. That's an advantage for some. I reckon it'd be an advantage for you in particular. Oh. Okay, seriously, how do you cast? You aren't exactly subtle. I know you think you're subtle, but I reckon just about anyone with experience could read you like a book when you get antsy like this. So come on, tell me about your small town. You don't know that I came from a small town. Huh, <laughs> duh. I could be cosmopolitan. I can make you a cosmo if you want, but Cass, you told me once that you didn't understand how a crosswalk worked and that you nearly got hit by a taxi on your first day here. That means nothing. I'm just used to a different standard of road safety. <laughs> Thank you for that follow. Is that cause all, cause of all the crows on the road? Womble, you silly fuck. Thank you so much for the three months. I haven't actually subbed to anyone myself, but I've enjoyed your stream since I tried out Elder Scrolls Online and you were playing. Oh my God. Womble, I'm honored. Thank you. I take that cherry and I put it in my pocket for later. You don't know me. Hit nail right on the head, huh? Oh my god. Yes. Yes, fine. You got me. I'm a sham. A fraud. I grew up in a town with like a hundred something people in it. And I don't understand how folks live piled on top of each other. Y'all, do y'all not care that you can hear your neighbors through the walls? How the hell do people move without worrying about it? A tiptoe around any time past eight. I haven't sung since I got here. That's adorable. Those words you just said, adorable. I mean, you're right. Living in a place like this requires a sort of tactical numbness sometimes, you know? You worry too much if someone hears you singing and walking around. You end up making yourself small to avoid inconvenience in others. There may be some people who could stand to do that but too many people who do just become meek and sad. So don't worry about it. 
trust that if you do annoy someone, they'll let you know. Does that include you? Oh, trust me. If you annoyed me, you'd know. I certainly wouldn't be shooting the shit with you on the job. Now drink up. I promise the next time you come around, you'll tell me a story of what your home was like. Sure thing, Eve. It is, it's Catherine Ann, she's back. Let's see, can I daydream? Um. And a thumper just went past my car, past my house, like one of the thumping radio people. I don't want to hear it. Like, I just don't want to hear your music, ever. Out of your car. Never. Ever. I can't think of one time. Oh shit. It's Allison. Allison and Cassidy gush over a classic fantasy novel. I'm gonna fuck that chick till she smiles. IRL music trolls, not even shitting you. Like, I wanna go out there and scream DMCA, but they probably have no idea what that is. I grew up in a really small town too, dude. We didn't even have, a, even have a town drunk. We had a town grump. My town literally voted one person in the town to be the town grump every year, and they had to sit in a prison for the town whatever. I don't even remember. Some little festival. <laughs> Banana, why are you fucking calling me out, bro? As Cassidy explains the problem she's been having, Bruce notes that it's similar to a certain historical event. Of course it is. Bruce. I have an old lady in the neighborhood who drives a cabrio and she blasts 90s pop. That's kind of adorable. I wouldn't be too mad at that sales because that's like a little precious. A little. All right, I'm keeping all that because I do really well with all those things. Until I don't. I can't believe that happened. Still can't believe it. And a little annoying. I mean, I imagine, yeah. Listen, Afterglow is a powerful force. I don't want to go get my dogs, but I should. Give me one minute. And yeah, come on, dude. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to go fetch the animals. One is below my desk. The other is... Oh, it's right behind me. I'm going to shut the door so they can't do this anymore. That's not true. Mm-hmm. Lean on me. That's why community is so important. It's important that we talk about this stuff. I don't ever want you guys sitting at home thinking you're the only person in the world that thinks this shit's crazy. Because it's nuts. I think we all agree it's fucking insane. <coughs> but it's good to know there's people like us out there that, like, we're all wholeheartedly like, no, this is crazy. And we're all over the world. We're not one place saying it's crazy, you know? And it is. Violence on that level is crazy and doesn't make sense. Cheat. I wonder. No. Ooh, this is a corner though, for sure. He's gotta connect there. What fuck are you gonna go?
This is a rough one. Not necessarily rough. I might be that stoned. It's finally happened. Bitch turds. What about you, though? Aha. Oh, Gook, you'll have to check it, dude. What are you smoking? Myron, I would almost say, I would replace that and say, like, the entire United States is bad for black people. Everything is designed to disenfranchise black people or people of color. Like, literally almost everything. I watched a special yesterday on filibustering. Filibustering was literally designed to knock down black people. And now it's used to further knock down black people and kill gun control laws and anything. Like, our entire country is based on laws that are designed to crush people of color, and it's disgusting. And what are we going to do about that? We talk about it until someone of note takes fucking notice. I don't know. Hope for the best. Minnesota? Any memories I'm missing? Probably not in these levels anymore. I can't remember the stream, but shit looks good. Fuck yeah, dude. That's all that matters. I went out and saw the Derek Chauvin trial and Chauvin, oh my god, you did? I just had to step out because it's so painful. Dude, I was I moved to Baltimore and literally that year the riots broke out because Mr. Gray was murdered by cops by being placed in the back of a cop car and drove around on a joyride, knocked around until he had an asthma attack and fucking died, or a seizure or something. And it was terrifying like I very clearly remember having to be locked up in the hospital and like they would let us sleep there if we wanted to if we didn't have anywhere to go because the t city was just like a war zone and it was just heartbreaking They did identified the dude at the Capitol, 25 year old white male. What did I say? I fucking called that at the beginning of stream. I hate to say I did, but I totally did. Sales, the one I watched, I was, um, they were talking about how filibuster was created. Well, it might have been used in good cases sometimes, but it was created um, because they made it so for civil rights issues, you needed some astronomically higher number of votes than any other vote in the government. I can't remember what it was. Myron probably knows more because he's very historically accurate. But they were talking about that this morning. Fuck, what was it? And that's like why it was created, literally. And it's fucking gnarly. It was disgusting to read about. I would use a controller. It was like something like you needed 64 votes versus some really small number. And they created it. I mean, it was literally only for civil rights issues. You needed way more votes. And it was just like, you know, giving black people human rights, blah, blah, blah. The usual like things that humans should have. Optic Seer, hell yeah. <gasps> no.
Strom Thurmond filibustered the Civil Rights Act in the mid-50s for 25 hours straight. How much do you fucking have to hate someone to stand for 25 hours against them? The fuck? Like what, my dudes? We know better than that. That's some bullshit, crazy shit. Oh, Revoltcon, dude. Middle places scare me. Although, Colorado is quite nice. They do it all the time. Filibustering is absolutely a thing. They do it all the time. But it was created literally to crush black people, as are most our biggest rules and laws and things in uh, our government here. If you read this history on them, it's pretty disgusting. Um, black Hole... Upheaval 3, Buckler. Head like a hole. Yep. Meepla, I was just going to say that. Get this. This will disgust you more than anything. You don't have to be present to start a filibuster. You can write an email or call from home. And all you have to say is, I don't agree. And if a couple other people agree with you, it's filibustered. You don't even have to stand and talk anymore. What the fuck? Baffled. Daily baffled. <laughs> Filibuster, I just met her. Oh! I don't think filibustering should even be allowed anymore. I don't think it's not real anymore. Like, seriously, Gookie, I agree with you 100%. Our government and our education system is designed for a world that doesn't exist anymore, which is why education fails kids so much. We're educating them like it's 1802 and it's 2021. So they go out in the world and they're like, oh shit, now what? Oh, I'm sure Mickey, they're all crazy ass narcissists. I don't want to do that. I'll upgrade my shit. Thanks so much. Nuke. Um, I kind of like the Earth. There's some people here I like. I don't really, like, want to be a ghoul. I'm a ghoul on the inside, or what do you guys call me? Goblin. But, like, I don't want to, like, look like one. And with all the THC in my system, chances are radiation ain't going to take me out. Like, I'm probably impervious to things. Eliza's never going to die. We're going to end up ghouls. Forever. I think we just need to hotbox a couple houses, places, calm people down, get them to think maybe a little bit more rationally. I don't know, just an idea. Suck my anus. Oh, bitch, how dare you? Oh, come at me, sucker. I'll beat the pee out of ya. Bitch. <gasps> Get out of the red. Why would you do that, Catherine? No. The follow type goal is yes. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna live in the nursing home for all eternity, age 80 infinite. Seriously, just like rotting. 
Fuck. Oh, dude. Can you imagine high aliens? I don't know, though. How would aliens respond to weed? Questionable. Questionable. Open. Oh, there we go. I hate Wave. No. Weave hurts me in my special places. Dude, Gooky, that's a fun question. If, if like, aliens came to Earth and we, like, got chill with them, would you guys smoke their weed? Or, like, their recreational drug of choice, just, like, out of curiosity? I'm very curious. Bitch, why are you running away like a little poontanger? Bitch. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All bets are off if aliens are real. I think there's gotta be. There's too much space out there to assume we're the only life form. They might not be anything we can even see, but there's gotta be some definition of life out there. It's too big. I'd probably try it out too, Ali. El 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 as long as it wasn't like, you know, yeah, like you said, like that level of danger. Like if I was for sure not gonna have a fucking heart attack. Would be like third on the list. It's like third on the list, dude. I know it goes like Snoop Dogg, Willie Nelson, Aliens, Oprah. I love Pooh. Betty White. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube. Die. How does it feel to be pointless in your existence? Yeah. <gasps> Basho, ciao. Ciao, Bella. Right, that's what I think, Mickey. It's like very narcissistic. Like, I don't know for sure, but it just seems like. This awfully big fucking universe to like only have us. And what a waste of space, my god. We like we're not that hot shit, you know? Bitch, what? To assume we're the only sentient species in the vastness of space is a fool's mindset. I mean, shit. I love that. A fool's mindset. Mm hmm. I mean, shit. Life on Earth is theorized to have come from other planets in some form. Plus, why are we so special? We're the only ones. Dude. A fucking men to that. Why are we so special? I love that. I love that mentality. Like, I, no one can answer unless it's, like, religion-based. Why are we so special? Like, it could be something that we just can't even see. There are, are like... The, um, what's it called? It's the, uh... It's that little shrimp in the ocean that can punch really fast. It breaks the sound barrier. That little guy can see color spectrums you and I cannot even imagine because we have never seen it before. Like, we know he can see these color spectrums, so why not other things we can't see? I'm just saying. Mantis shrimp. Thank you, mantis shrimp. I blanked on the name. The mantis shrimp, right? Right, Reese? Like, it fucking blows your mind. We know he sees things you and I cannot conceptualize. Why not other shit? I mean, IZ Onesie Gamer, why not? We still can't get far away from our planet. Why do we assume that they can? We always assume that, like, if there's life out there, they must be so much more advanced than us. Like, I'm not hating, but, like, why? What if they're even newer than us? They could still be in, like, ape stage or whatever their, you know, subspecies stage is. Parrot see UV spectrum, which is hacking cool. That is fucking cool. And blows my mind. We have a button. Pause. 